some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Jeffrey Middleton, where there is a sovereign citizen who thinks he can put together a cogent argument to convince the judge to let him out of a traffic infraction. But boy, is he proven wrong. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Mr. Hicks, why don't you come on up and talk to you? Or Mr. Aiken. That was Mr. Hicks. You're on a special uh, appearance in the bind. All right, well, we'll talk about that here. This is file number, uh, what's that? Um, you're on a special it? appearance in the divine and living. Okay, could you hand that Second. to me? Oh yeah, this is going to go real great for him. Well, not really, considering that this judge knows the sovereign citizen game. Well, first let me call the case. This is file number 222036SM. I'll give this back to you. You don't want to lose this. This is a birth certificate for Justin Michael Aiken. And he happens to be the person that got this citation, Justin Michael Aiken. I don't want to keep that. I don't want you to lose it. You need it. Anyway, that's you. Mr. Aiken, you're here under one appearance or another. You got a citation charging with having no insurance. The last lady had the same charge. That's a misdemeanor. It's punishable by up to a year in jail, a fine of up to $500, not less than 200. The second cow is the one that carries a driving suspension. That's called driving suspended. Standard fare for sovereign citizens is to drive with no license, no insurance, or anything of that affair. And they always try to use some archaic legal jargon that doesn't even work in any court to get them out of it. That's a misdemeanor punishable by up to 93 days in jail and a fine of up to $500. Uh, that carries two points and it requires that your license be suspended. So that could affect your ability to drive a car. And then the third count is a registration plate violation, which is a civil infraction. Um, and uh, I don't know if there's any sort of plea offer at this point. It probably isn't. What was your advice, Ms. Jackson? Um, I advised him that um, he should plead not guilty, ask for a pretrial, and pay off what is suspending him, which is basically a couple of tickets of leave out of Greenwich County, see if he can't get some uh, reduction on that charge. That's not bad advice. Mr. Aiken, she's recommending at this point that you plead not guilty. And I don't have a problem with that. Um, your driving record shows that you had some previous insurance tickets that you didn't pay. Um, and then she indicates you may also have some things from Indiana, um, LaGrange County. Branch me. What's that? Branch County. Branch, oh, Branch County. Okay, let me look at this because I did look at this yesterday. Um, the staff has been talking with you. They say you're very polite and respectful, mm -hmm. um, but may not completely understand everything. Um, your driving record shows that you are currently suspended. You do have an ID. You have cold water, March of 22, fail to comply with judgment. That means you didn't pay the ticket. And uh, so her, address, her advice is probably pretty good. What would you like to do, sir? And so it begins. Um, well, there's case laws here that states that the use of an automobile as necessary to to the earnings of a livelihood as modern life requires use in the interest of realism to conclude the right to use as an automobile on the public highways partakes of nature of a liberty within the meaning of the constitutional guarantees 
Barbarian versus Lusier, 1958, 139, 82D, 869. And then the right to operate a automobile upon the public streets and highways is, a mere, is not a mere privilege, it is a right of a liberty, the enjoyment of which is the protected by the guarantees of the federal and state constitutions. Adam versus City of the Pugtello, 416 P.2D, 464891, Idaho, 99, 1966. And a traveler has an equal right to employ as an automobile as a means of transportation and to occupy the public's highways with other vehicles in common use. Campbell versus Walker, 78, Atlanta, 601, 603, 2, Boyce, Dell, 41. Also, the word automobile connotes a pleasure vehicle designed for the transportation of persons on highways. American Mutual Li Liability Insurance Co. versus Chaput, 68, 0.2. D2, sorry, 118. Motor vehicle, the term motor vehicle means every description of the carriage or otherwise convenience propelled or drawn by mechanical power and used for commercial purposes on the highways. The term used for commercial purposes means the carriage or a person or property for any fair fee rate charge or other considerations or directly or indirectly in connection with any business or other undertakings intended for profit. A motor vehicle or automobile for hire is a motor vehicle other than an automobile stage used for the transportation of persons for which remuneration is received. International Motor Transit Co. versus Seattle 251P120. Yeah, that was a word salad. Not exactly any laws or good information in there whatsoever. Do yourself a favor. Go to a community college or university. Take a course in public speaking and learn to put together a coherent argument. Or for that matter, go take a basic essay writing class and learn to string together a proper essay before you go on to the aforementioned public speaking course. So does that mean you want to plead not guilty for this stuff? Uh, yes. All right. Because I don't know if there's a club, you pay dues. Uh, as I said, the staff said you've been very polite and respectful, but you are woefully misinformed. Uh, people keep coming up with these. I have one more thing. Uh, right. Well, anyway, well, everything you just said has no meaning to whether or not you need a valid driver's license or insurance in the state of Michigan. Now that is how a judge should respond to the sovereign citizen argument. And uh, the problem is, Mr. Aiken, you could take all this misinformation and really get yourself in a difficult circumstance. I don't know who's teaching you this, whether you learned it yourself yeah. off the internet or you've got a mentor that is... Come on now, judge. Don't you know who this guy is? He went to the prestigious YouTube Law University and studied under the likes of Chile de Castro and others like him. Taking you down this rabbit hole, but I don't want you to get yourself in a situation where you're going to have to live to be 99 years old to get your driver's license back. Right. Um, so first of all, uh, Ms. Jackson's advice that you pay the ticket in Branch County would be helpful. Everything you just said has a thimbles full, an empty thimbles full worth of effect on anything. <laughs> Your driver's license is suspended by the state of Michigan. You can travel all you want, but you can't drive a car until you get that cleared up. Secondly, you're not an independent nation unto yourself. You need insurance. Um, and uh, I don't want you to get all sideways. No, I you can't get your license back from following this irrelevant, um, meaningless, information that you've been provided with. You seem like a nice young man. 
Um, so I'm going to show you a plead not guilty. Would you give uh, Mr. Aiken his birth certificate back? I want him to lose that. Sure. Now you said there was something else you wanted to tell me. Yes, if that's okay, Your Honor. Yeah. Okay. Um, it states right here under U.S. Supreme Court decision that common law is the real law, the supreme law of the land, that codes, rules, regulations, policy, and statutes are not the law. <laughs> Citation, citation, citation needed. Citation fucking needed. First of all, citation needed for that ruling. And second of all, yeah, sure, whatever, dude. Continue to live in your little fantasy world. And learn better research methods. Because as of right now, you suck at research. So therefore, as an in insurance, regulations, title, tags are not law. That's okay. as it's stated here, uh, Rodriguez versus Ray Donovan, U.S. Department of Labor, 1769, or 1769 F2D, 1344-1348-1985. And then a uh, U.S. Supreme Court decision, 1796, there every man is independent of all laws except those prescribed by nature. He is not bound in, by any institutions formed by his fellow men without his consent. Cruden versus Neal. Then this decision has never been overturned. Did your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. How about they regret that? Okay, I'm not sure where you get this stuff. If that were true, you wouldn't need me. You wouldn't need police. You'd have anarchy and people rioting in the streets and doing what we're about there now. People do whatever they feel like. If somebody says something they don't like, they shoot them. If somebody says something they don't like, they punch them in the nose. They feel like everybody else's property is their property. There's something here in the United States, here in Michigan, and here in St. Joe County called the rule of law. And the judges don't make the laws. The legislature does. The judges are sworn to enforce them. So at this point, somebody gave you all this information, which doesn't really affect anything, and it isn't a legitimate defense. You're entitled to have it. You're entitled to be misinformed. I can't. Um, and you're entitled to believe what you want. You're entitled to have a trial in front of six jurors. Yeah, but we can do that. Um, we'll this, this isn't even... It won't even, that stuff won't even get to a jury. The only question would be, did you have insurance and were you driving? Um, anyway, as I'm I said, trying. I don't want you to get on the driving suspended merry-go-round and you'd be unable to get off of it. Whoever is giving you this information is doing you a terrible disservice. Um, you got these tickets in other jurisdictions that you didn't pay. Now you're suspended. How'd you get here today? I got a ride. Give me, somebody gave me a ride. All right. Well, don't drive anymore until we sort this out. I would like to see you get back on the right side of having a driver's license. This stuff is not helpful. It doesn't aid your cause. It has little meaning. And the bottom line is you need to have a valid driver's license. You need to have insurance. This stuff doesn't carry any lawful weight in any court in the state of Michigan. So I'm going to show you're pleading not guilty. We'll send you out to the court office. We'll have a pretrial. You can share your thoughts and beliefs with the prosecutor. They'll probably just make them mad. But Ms. Jackson's advice is a good one. If you can go get the tickets paid off, get your license available to get it, they may give you some consideration. But you live in Constantine, which is a little place. Right. Every time you drive, they're going to pull you over again. Yeah, We're going to be on the merry-go-round, and we won't be able to get off of it. Um, so, like I said, you've always been polite and respectful, and you're entitled to believe what you want. But this isn't helpful to your cause. So we'll get a free trial, let you share that information with the prosecutor, see what they want to do. But Ms. Jackson's advice, I think, is good advice. Okay. All right, Mr. Aiken, uh, why don't you take uh, him out to the counter? Now, what's going to happen next, and I apologize, once upon a time, we used to do the pretrial right here at the time of the arraignment. But with county cases, we're not able to do that presently. 
Are you missing work right now? No, not, not right now. Okay, good. I don't want you to have to take time off from work to come back here, but we'll talk further about this. And if you want a trial, you're ultimately entitled to have one. My hope is you could get some of this stuff squared away and the prosecutor will give you some consideration to help you get your valid license back. But when you were young, you took driver's ed, you did all the steps you needed to do to get a valid license? Correct, I did then. That was before I actually started researching into law, actual common law of the United States of America, which is common law, God's law. Legal is undoing of God's law, the legal way. That's, that's what it comes down to. I mean, I know you don't know it. Um, it's just, there's a whole bunch of fraud. Well, I didn't just fall off the turnip truck. I've been here for 42 years and people have been making these harebrained arguments for years and they don't carry any weight. And I'm sorry that you have gone down this path, but it isn't going to be beneficial. And okay. uh, the better, you know, and you went to all the effort to get a driver's license. Don't throw it away because of some mistaken beliefs about something that was rendered in 1796. So anyway, we'll send you out for a pretrial and we'll see where this goes. But I appreciate the fact that you are polite, respectful, and you have a right to believe misinformation if you want to, but it isn't in your best interest. All right, good luck, sir. We'll probably talk further. Your Honor, Deputy Tyler uh, looked on the cameras for that gentleman and he could not see him driving uh, All right. on camera view. Uh, we don't have the other, just don't drive. Same for same for you. Stop driving and just make it worse and more expensive and harder to get it till we get this fixed. Okay. All right, you're good to go, sir. Judge Middleton tried to help him out and give him some good advice, but I doubt this guy will even listen to it. I think he might be way too far gone to even listen anymore.